This morning, we are also getting a deeper look inside the final hours of an inmate that died last July in the Charleston County Jail. Joyce Cornell's family has filed a lawsuit saying she died because she was deprived of water. However, the Charleston County Sheriff's Office says it takes the safety of inmates very serious. News 2's Brennan Clark has looked over the 25 hours of jail video and has the details for us. When Cornell was brought to jail, she was already sick. She was in a local hospital suffering from a stomach illness. Her son's call to authorities led to her arrest on a prior shoplifting charge. She also suffered underlying conditions like sickle cell disease and alcoholism. That's Cornell being brought into the jail in the afternoon of July 21st wearing the t-shirt and jeans. She is not well, lying down on chairs holding a plastic bag. Now in a green and white striped prison suit and close to midnight, Cornell is unsteady, vomiting at first in the bathroom, then next to her bed. This went on throughout the night. Despite being prescribed medicine, she can't keep anything down. Almost nine hours pass, no contact with nurses. An officer does check on Cornell at 3.30 in the morning, then brings a plastic crate lined with a plastic bag at 4.30. In the morning, Cornell tried to eat something but was still nauseous, but was okay to talk with other inmates in the recreation yard later that morning. Around 2 in the afternoon, Cornell walked into another room to talk with a doctor. Her blood pressure was taken. She did not complain, the entire interaction lasting less than two minutes. But just over an hour later, she is back on her bed, moving briefly for the final time. An hour later, Cornell's body was discovered. Officers and paramedics performed CPR for nearly 20 minutes, but it was too late. According to an affidavit, Cornell's family and attorney say, had she been timely evaluated by a medical professional and properly treated for her conditions, her death could have been prevented.